bring people to the VA today, leave them outside, throw away all their belongings, and then uh, have them wind up back here a day later. You can uh, direct all questions to my why, lieutenant. Why do you guys have guns to do outreach? How come you guys dropped Robert off at the VA, left him outside, threw away all of his belongings, now he's back here? What services are you guys providing to unhoused residents? Are you guys just here to distract unhoused people and prep for a raid before July 4th? Are you guys here to bring people to the VA and then leave them outside overnight and throw away all their belongings and then have them wind up here two days later? What kind of services are you guys providing? Why do you guys have guns to do outreach? Why do you guys have guns to do outreach? What services are you actually offering or providing? Hey guys, this video comes to you from a channel called Tony Vera 1902. This guy is an OG in the game. He's been around for a long time. He's been recording police at LAX and he's got a lot of viral videos on his channel where he's recorded several celebrities. He is actually the one that got punched by Mike Tyson, filed a lawsuit and won and later became friends with Mike Tyson. This guy has been recording in Venice Beach for a long time. So in documenting what's going on over there regarding the homeless, Tony Vera is one channel to follow to get real news about what's happening. In Venice Beach right now, there are a lot of homeless people and the sheriff has been given a contract to come in and remove everyone. In this video, you're gonna see what is abundantly clear. It is a publicity stunt, and the photographer that the sheriffs have with them looks like a joker who's been given extremely expensive camera equipment, and he's out there ready to document these deputies when they pose. Watch this video, go subscribe to Tony Vera 1902, let him know San Joaquin sent you. I'll see you guys in his comment section. Hi, Tony Vera, Venice, California. This video is an exclusive video of the woman called Angel. She was accused of uh, threatening the uh, man running for mayor, Joe, and all his uh, backers lying and saying that she was trying to uh, kill people. And she's a homeless woman, and she's an artist, and uh, it's dangerous to be a homeless woman in Venice. Of course, she's going to have a knife. A lot of the, uh, the homeless that are criminals out there rape a lot of females on the boardwalk, and uh, they prey on people. So Angel is a free spirit, a beautiful person, and I got her today, and she gives her um, on what happened. You know, she was she was released the same day. You know, it was a bunch of bull. I was shocked that the news went for that story that she was trying to kill this dude or stab this dude. All lies, and she would tell a story. And then we have the guy in the wheelchair that the sheriff took to the vet, the vet, the veterinary's administration, and then. He, they dropped him off there, then they left him in the street, and he was taken to a bitch house, and he would tell his story. And then we have the L.A. County Sheriff. They were on the boardwalk today giving out food, along with LAPD. They were giving tickets out for people that had their tents uh, on the boardwalk or on the sand. So it's a very good video. It had a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to cover this to the end. I've been recording at Venice for over 20 some odd years on the original. Uh, doing video. This, back then was only Zuma Dog and Mike Dow. We, don't, we did all the video for the other place, the, uh, the meetings of the lottery. Uh, I've always been in Venice and uh, I don't show myself because I'm not trying to be a personality on this. I'm just trying to show the facts on what happened. So uh, kick back and meet uh, Angel. She's a beautiful spirit and uh, I got to see her. She was getting a massage on the boardwalk and I shot that uh, before I asked her for the interview, she was lovely, but that whole thing was a bunch of lies, people. But the whole thing was a lie, and she would tell us out of the story. That was uh, shooting from afar, her getting a massage. Here's the video.
the angel. How are you? I, I, I was watching you on your, I was watching you on the news, and I, cause I was there that day, and I, it, it was a bunch of bull, the whole thing. Yeah. Can you tell your, your side of the story? Um. Okay. So I pulled up to the parking lot. It was like six in the morning, and uh, I, I my night was still going because sometimes I sleep during the day, take like naps and stuff. Um, so I was still going through my night. I was going to the bathroom by the parking lot, and then I saw people holding signs that said, uh, Take Back Venice. Yeah. Save us, Joe. Those are the ones I saw the most. And I, so I stopped, and I was like, Just gonna check it out. You know what I'm saying? So I like was just chilling in the audience. And then, um, you know, I'm like moving through it, like just looking around, like checking everybody out and seeing how they how they act and who they are and like what the whole point was what he was trying to say listening to his speech which a lot of it was like um save us from the homeless it was horrible I mean, it was we horrible. were like criminals and no, we're the, like we're and the crowd know, he had was, and the crowd he had well a bunch of uh haters yeah so then so then of course because that's what his speech is about he's like everybody's looking at me like you know like fuck this girl yeah you know what i mean like I'm obviously, I was wearing no shoes, you know, I had like some dirty overalls and like, I'm obviously And, and you had the OG hat on. And the OG hat, uh-huh. You look good. Yeah? You yeah. know OG? Huh? You know OG? No. I just got it that morning, actually. He just gave it to me right before that, because he lives right over there. I don't know if you want me saying that, but yeah, OG, he just gave me that hat. All right. So, see so yeah, I'm wearing my little outfit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm clearly homeless. And so they're looking at me like, this bitch. And I'm like, okay, you know, like, whatever, I'm still minding my business, right? They're trying to kick my friend out who's, like, playing the drums. They haven't shared a lot of the video. Of oh, no, of course not. Because it shows what actually Oh, happened. yeah, they just show you getting handcuffed. Yeah, all they show is me getting handcuffed and them finally, like, grabbing the knife out of my hand. I'll explain what happened with the knife. So, like I said, it was still my, um, my nighttime, right? So, at night, I keep my knife out of my sheet. So that it's um, it's ready for use. But you have you to because you're, you're you know you're out here in the element. Yeah, I'm in the element. And you have those gangs that go around and terrorize the homeless. I mean, it's not it's not just gangs, honestly. A lot of gangs kind of keep to themselves. Yeah. Uh, with certain things, but uh, there it just anything can happen. You know yeah, yeah. I, mean? I don't usually have to use it. It's just good to have one. I also cook. And it's legal. I cook. Yeah, it was a uh, size of my hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I just usually have it, but I didn't because it was like only six in the morning and I, I hadn't like gotten ready for the day yet. And so it like fell out of my pocket. <laughs> and yeah, that's the thing that fell out of my pocket. I went to go pick it up. Everybody started tripping and um, they tried to take it from me. I got some dude's foot went on it and I was like, whose foot? Because I went down to grab it and then boom, like right before my eyes, some foot. And so I'm like, get off my knife. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would normally do. Like, don't touch my knives. Yeah. It's kind of a rule amongst people. You don't touch other people's knives. So that's what I was thinking. So I was like, get off. And then I was trying to put it back away. And they, boom, they, like, I was like, attack me, confiscated my shit. And so that's the picture that they're choosing to use when when I'm, like, in cuts and trying to, like, like, because I didn't even know it was the cops behind me. You understand what I'm saying? It happened so fast. I didn't even know it was the cops. I thought it was just, like, some of the... I guess Joe's people. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? Nobody's confiscating my property. I didn't do shit. So I was still trying to like be like, give me my fucking knife. You know what I mean? And uh, then they grabbed it. And that's the picture that they use on the article where they like tackling me and they just got my knife. So yeah, it looks really bad. But that's exactly why they won't release the whole videos of the entire event because it shows that I'm innocent and it shows that I'm dancing and chilling and that I got elbowed in the face. And then my homeboy got touched and they tried to take his drum and all kinds of shit. But nobody did, we didn't do nothing about it. That's what I'm saying, the locals, we didn't do nothing about like anything that they were doing to us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they're trying to say that we're crazy when we were just minding our business. You know what I'm saying? And then none of that's covered. Like I got open in the face and they try to like, like handle my homeboy and take his drum from him. Wow, do you mean the uh, supporters? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the people in the crowd, his, uh, his little, Comrades. Yeah, because uh, the, the lie going out is some guy was saying that you were saying you, you want to kill people. That yeah, made no yeah, yeah. that they made no sense. They show me that video. They show me that video when because they arrested me, okay. And then I'm in the holding cell, and then dude comes in and is like, 
this is what they're saying about you. And I was like, oh my god. The audacity. And that is when I freaked out because I was like, if you want to be a politician, then use an actual example. Yeah, of something what you're real. To say. You know what I mean? Don't just like take something and then take it to an extent which becomes a lie. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say any of that. That's of course why you they didn't. won't release the video. And that's why you're out the next day. That's why I was out the same day. Same day. That's and, what uh, I'm saying. Like, and I hear they're going to drop the charges too. I was like, please do find some evidence. Yeah, that's there's no like, evidence. They, huh, <laughs> they messed with the wrong one. I, I got I got really Very, mad. I, I got, got shit on me. I got mad at the news because they were going with the story, but I was there that day and uh, it was it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, they were like super happy it happened. They were like, great, we can use this because our whole point is that the homeless are crazy. And look, it's a homeless woman with a knife. Perfect. Nah. Because <laughs> you're lying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're just using something. My knife fell out of my pocket. I was dancing. There's a video if they will release it. You know what I mean? And the bodyguard uh, claims he, he was um, uh, cut. Somebody told him to do it, and no, he wasn't cut. Of course he wasn't cut. The bodyguard wasn't cut. I pushed his boot off me and then went to put the knife away, okay? And then the only person who touched the knife was the cop that was to me. Uh, that's, the what that's what I'm saying. Right. And if that happened, well, then that's because he don't know how to grab a knife and because I wasn't trying to give it to him. Yeah. But he wasn't badly hurt. No blood. You know what I mean? Like, it's just because it felt like stealing. Like, now you're stealing my stuff because I did nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I was wrongly arrested. Entirely. And, the, and they know that. Everybody knows that. So Everybody knows that. You know? How far was he uh, uh, from you, the, uh, the the guy running for mayor? Probably like 10 feet. And he was uh, like in a crowd of people, like shaking hands. Yeah. And, like, you know, goodbye, thank you. Like, he had just wrapped his speech up. And I was like, all the way back. Like, minding my business, just like looking around, you know what I'm saying? And it was in my pocket. And, uh, and it wasn't even like three feet from people. That's what I'm saying. It was like nobody right there. It didn't touch nobody. It felt right on the ground. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anybody who was close by was at least three Way. They have to like come on over to get close to me. Yeah, because I was taping the, the speech and everything, and they kept saying that you were behind him, and you 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 know where in the like video. Ten feet behind him, I wasn't like right no, but up in there. When like... when he was talking, they were trying to say you were in the speech. You were behind him. You were not behind him. Okay. You know. Watch the damn video. If they will release it. <laughs> so, they, they, yeah. they got a video of him running away, but you know where in sight. Yeah, they framed it really, really good. Um, so that's the truth. So I'm Angel, I live. Venice Beach and I just happened to be there minding my business and I was wrongly arrested and I don't know much about the politics I just know that they're lying on me the big time mm -hmm. lying you know I, I mean I took your side right away and then I, I get a lot of hate from these people I'm telling these people they're, they're running with they're running with a lie yeah you know what I mean I, I was trying to find you because you know Peggy she's an activist yeah, 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 with the cameras yes yeah, she wants me to give you uh, her card you have it on you? Yeah, so Angel, yeah, I want to say uh, thank you. Uh, we love you. And do you have any, anything to say to the people? Um, I'm what they call a criminal. <laughs> uh, do you have a pay, do, <laughs> I just want to say that. Do you have they a pay, call me a criminal. Do you have a PayPal like account? Crazy, huh? Do you have a PayPal account? Um, no, but I'll let you know. Please let me know. If I make one. Yeah, you should make one. Okay. You know, make one and we'll, we'll do another one and take you some donations. That would be cool. Because okay. I am trying to like not be houseless or not have to be houseless, you know what I mean? And I'm an artist too. So you know, uh, I sell paintings and I sing. So what, uh, what do you think about the, uh, the, 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 the places for the homeless out here? Is, is it working? They're saying they're going to find you places to stay? A lot of people, if they are uh, signed up for that, are on like waiting lists. Oh yeah. And some people who do take the opportunity, like when they're not at the shelter, they just come right back out here yeah. and spend their days. Okay, but I, I'm really, really, really proud of you, man. You know, and I, I just want to tell you that we all love you, and uh, a lot of people support you. You, you know, that that, that crowd there, that day that was there, they, they, they were horrible, man. They're a bunch of haters. <laughs> I was like, dang, and I was really nice about it too, because like I said, they were being really rude to me, and like I literally got elbowed in the face, and like what happened to my friend too, and and I was like, I didn't like provoke anybody i did i would you know and no, they provoked me and listen, i'm like damn you're like, a free spirit listen. everybody knows angel you know I mean? that's what i'm saying everybody knows angel. you know so it's like i, I didn't to do this to me i didn't Sorry, know you personally but, but everything i heard about you it was positive and being the female and you're homeless you got to be tough out here you know what i mean so but thank you and we love you and uh, stay strong Yeah, but it's a huge component.
just did that one thing, it would be major. But we've allowed our only type of housing, really, for people with suffering with mental illness to completely collapse. That's the poor care system. And that is a for-profit major, mainly a for-profit system based on people with SSI income. So if you can imagine, if you're running a for-profit board care, that people who have SSI, they don't get an increase of, um, of their you know, cost of living increases, but everything else can have a cost of living increase. So you shut down your board care, you can't make a profit, you sell the property, it becomes demolished, and then a developer turns it into luxury housing. I mean, that's a major problem. You have to look at what, how we got here to try to fix these things in a substantial way right now right now we have to do this. I showed the TV piece. They they found you. Uh, they were taking you to the uh, the veterinary's uh, office. Uh, what, what happened with that? Uh, nothing. I just uh, they just dumped all my property out there. And the next the next day, Manny came back and took it all back down and took me to the shelter. And uh, I hear that now you're in the bitch housing. Yeah. How's, how's that going? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. How long do you stay there? I, oh, uh, I've been just for a night now. I'm going to stay there a little bit longer. And what about the uh, the vets? They're not, doing, they're not doing anything for you? No. Well, well, they made a big deal out of it. Yeah, no. It's, that, that, was, that was all bull. Yeah. Oh, it's that. It's that. And you have your stuff? Yeah. Did, 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 did they throw away your stuff? Yeah, I threw some, some of it away. I, I, I know. He, he, saw, he saw them throw stuff away on me. <laughs> so basically, they didn't do, they didn't do anything for you. So they put some of your stuff in the car, but well, then they here. cleaned they're off they're everything right. else and threw it in the trash. Yes. Wow. So they did save they, uh, some of your yes. stuff. I don't know where it went. Yeah. Big crew. Huge crew. Yesterday? Yeah. So what are your plans now? No, I just stick around and go back to the shelter for a while. Are you, are you, are you okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. And your name, sir? Robert Zadowski. You're amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. How are you? today, leave them outside, throw away all their belongings, and then uh, have them wind up back here a day later. You can uh, direct all questions to my lieutenant. Why, why do you guys have guns to do outreach? How come you guys dropped Robert off at the VA, left him outside, threw away all of his belongings, and now he's back here? What services are you guys providing to unhoused residents? Seriously, a, qu a question. What services are you all providing? Anything? Are you guys just here to distract unhoused people and prep for a raid before July 4th? Are you guys here to bring people to the VA and then leave them outside overnight? throw away all their belongings and then have them wind up here two days later? What kind of services are you guys providing? Why do you guys have guns to do outreach? Why do you guys have guns to do outreach? What services are you actually offering or providing? Do you guys have any issue that your department has killed 18 people in the past year? Guys, 
can go talk to him right now. Robert's actually right up there. Robert, the dude that went to the VA, is actually sitting right over there. So if you guys want to do outreach, you should talk to him and figure out how he got left outside. What services are you guys providing? Off of Venice. Um, Why do you all have guns to do outreach? So you guys dropped Robert off outside the VA, left him there overnight, threw all of his belongings away. Now Robert's here again. What do you guys have to say about that? What kind of outreach is that? Sheriff Villanueva said you guys are getting him getting housing for people that live here. Robert's here two days later. What housing did you get him? You guys left we'll him overnight. You, you'll find out. You'll find out that you left him outside the VA and threw all his belongings away. You guys should go talk to Robert. See what see what his experience was like. When you guys left him outside the VA, you threw away all of his belongings. Is that outreach? Yeah. There, my guys. How are you? Sure, Robert's back. Right. Yeah, Where are you right now? He's yeah. visiting. He's visiting. Yeah. Yeah. He told me he's at the side. He's at Bridge House. He's at the bridge house. I didn't tell him anything. I go, I go, where are you? Right this is awesome. Did you talk to him about his stuff? I know he asked you to, I mean. It's an ongoing conversation. Okay. He's never going to let off. Okay. I'll, I'll take, I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. I, I think I got Robert. I'll figure him out. I'll give him a picture or something. Where did he go right now? Okay. He finally went back to the VA. He went back to the VA. Yeah. 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 Right, and and what I heard is is they did they placed him at the shelter and that's where he wanted because he wanted to be close, right? So that he can come visit. Right. I mean that's an and accomplishment it, because so, he's been trying to do that ever since I've known him. Right. Before. So today was a visit. He's not coming back. That's what he told me. Okay. So I mean, tomorrow's another good. day. Bacon and eggs. Nice. You got a good breakfast. He's doing a lot better than David. Like, that's not It's hard for me to make comments on it because because um, there's proposals on the table. I mean, we put a proposal to them that was 2,000 people for uh, 11 million dollars. Okay, they're housing one person for a million, and they charge 45 million for services. I'm over here with Jack. It's just a different. He said Robert did come. Robert is is still at his place. He had steak and eggs or bacon and eggs this morning, and he was at a bridge house and he was visiting at sunset. So. He's Bank. upset that the massage table that Jack says he's going to talk to him. So that was Jack's decision. So, um, but I'm going to look for him a little bit and figure out where he's at. And that was the whole purpose. He was placed close because he wants to go visit his So, I'm going to continue to confirm that he isn't coming back and that he's just making a visit today like he told everybody he's going to do. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to shock them. Okay, no, not the table. And I would right. be like flooding. Just like well, when I offered to take care of it. I thought we going to. Okay. Well, we went through everything we possibly did. It's just that table. 
Well, I'll, I'll, I'm, let me, I'm gonna walk real quick. Let's go back and, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm right with uh, Robert in front of uh, El House. I mean, not, no, I'm sorry, not Robert, it's Jack. Robert's no, not either. Robert or not. <laughs> he said, he said, that girl that was standing, he was here, I think. Now I think it's going up backwards. <laughs> Is anybody here, Kate? <laughs> Where's she at? I guess I have a <laughs>
It says starting at $550. Okay. No, no, no. Well, one, chill the fuck out. You handed it to me, and you're being smart ass. So, relax. And two, it's, your flyer says starting at $550. Yes, I know. <laughs> Anyways, so starting at 550, right? Yeah. What if someone doesn't have any money? I don't know. No, no. So these people that you're you're offering these services to people, right? And it's saying starting at 550, right? Get it all back to the house. Right? Right? What if they don't have any money? They have to pay? No, no, dude, I'm not calling anything. I'm not calling anything. I'm not calling anything. How long have you been doing the home and Right there in the white shirt. What's his name? 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 Like you're able to have some critical thought, bro. You know what you're doing is wrong. You too. What the fuck with the fucking look, bro? Well, why are you dressed like that? You out. Yo, why are you dressed like that to do outreach, honestly? Why, why do you have a gun and why why are you dressed like you're going to war to do outreach? No, no answer. You just look like a fucking clown every day just because? Wake up every morning, got to put my clown outfit on. Is that this is what you do to, for outreach? Clown, clown outfit for outreach. Great job. So your mom is real proud. Hot fries, three lines. You guys are doing a good job. Is it the housing you say you're offering? The shelter is not housing. We have to follow you guys around.
well, see, that's a fact of what's happening. It's not what I feel. It's fact. Those are facts. And, and you're walking around with them. And then maybe your job, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I would enjoy it. I agree. I wouldn't well, that's just, enjoy it. That's what I really enjoy it. Okay. Well, that says something about you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you go subscribe to Tony Vera 1902. He's out there covering what's going on in Venice Beach. He's covering the deputies trying to get rid of the homeless folks out in Venice Beach, guys. He's been putting in a lot of work for a long time. I have a lot of respect for this guy. Go over to his channel. Let him know I sent you. Also, guys, I also went out there to Venice Beach to find out some more. See if there's anything that I can do to help while I'm out there. Especially using my platform to be able to help some of the folks that are out there covering this. I figured I might be be able to go out there and help some of these channels grow i did meet up with mr checkpoint out there and that's when i saw tony vera i ended up talking to him for a little bit you guys will find that in my live stream if you guys want to watch that i'll add that link in the description as well as tony vera's channel thank you guys for tuning in have a wonderful day i'll see you guys on the next video